versus the Razer Viper Ultimate. So basically, they're coming at around the same price. The G Pro Wireless retailed for 150 bucks. It's available for like 120, 130 bucks on Amazon. And um, you can get this for 130 bucks if you don't want to pay the extra, you know, 20, 30 bucks for the charging dock, you know? So if you guys want to do get any of these, we'll leave links below. But uh, let's get it start off with the shape. So shape seems, it feels very similar in both of them. Very similar, The yes. Razer Viper Ultimate, however, is gonna be a little bit lower profile. Yes. Um, so typically your, your G Pro Wireless is gonna be easier to palm because of that. It's gonna fill out your hands a little bit more from what I noticed. Yeah. The Razer Viper for a lot of people tends to be more comfortable for a fingertip style. I personally like to palm it though, but yeah. that's, just, that's just my personal style. Yes. I mean, yeah, no, it all depends on what you prefer because you know, they're both really comfortable for me if I want a you know, palm grip. A fingertip grip feels a little bit comfortable for me personally in the Viper, but like, like, like Lucas said, you can also easily fingertip the G Pro uh, wireless if you would like. Uh, if you have medium to large size hands, you should be good for uh, both grip styles. If you have a small hand, um, I don't know, what, what, what do you think? Smaller hands, I yeah. mean, you're restuck palm at. Yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the G Pro wireless it feels very good if you like a, a mouse that fills, fills up your hand a lot, you know? The Viper is a lot lower profile, so um, I don't know. I, I, I Personally, I like both mouse shapes, so it all depends if you like a higher arch or a lower arch. And they are both, one notable thing is, they are gonna be both true uh, ambidextrous mice. And you got side buttons on each side, uh, they're perfectly symmetrical uh, either way you go. The dimensions are as follows for the G Pro Wireless. So we've got the length at 125 millimeters, the width at 63.5 millimeters, and then the depth or the arch is 40 millimeters. That's actually a really tall That's arch. That's very tall, yeah. And then looking at the Razer Viper, the height is 126.7 millimeters, the width is 66.2, and the height at the arch is 37.8 millimeters. So Razer Viper's just a little bit smaller. A little bit smaller. Like every, every, basically. basically, the dimensions are the same besides the at the arch. And as far as the weight goes, uh, the G Pro Wireless is isn't super heavy, but it's not super light. You know, so let's see, 81 grams for the G Pro Wireless, mm -hmm. and then the Viper is like 74. 74. Yeah, mm -hmm. 74, 75, give or take. So basically, it's five, six grams, and not really good. It's really too much. negligible. Yeah. Uh, weight is to to each their own on that one, I'd yeah. say. And uh, the G Pro Wireless does feel like a little bit bulkier though because of the higher arch. It fills up your hand a little bit more. So um, be because it's the low boy. Yeah, exactly. So if the because the lower arch on the Viper, it just feels a little bit lighter, and also it has better mouse feet. You know. So uh, moving on to the mouse feet. The Viper Ultimate comes with pure PTFE mouse feed, two on the top, two on the bottom, and one surrounding the sensor. The G Pro Wireless, uh, although you know Lucas does have mm -hmm. you know hyperglides on it or the the Tiger Arc mouse feed, yep. uh, it does not come stock with pure PTFE. You know, the the pure stock mouse feed, how are they? They're good. They're I mean, okay. they're they're like they're average mouse feet. Yeah. They're not going to be PTFE, um, but they just feel like average sort of gaming mouse feet. Mm -hmm. So hence why we got the Tiger Arc feet on there. Yes, uh, I had to replace it. G Pro Wireless, my baby. <laughs> uh, but like, what where you really notice the difference is on a hard mouse pad. On a soft mouse pad, it's a it's it's a little it's a little bit hard to feel the difference between yeah. like the regular stock mouse feet and pure PTFE. So. Soft mouse pads but definitely give you more control, I yes. feel like, uh, whereas a hard pad is going to be just a lot faster. All right, so as far as the sensors go, for Logitech, you got their Hero sensor, and then for the Razer Viper, you've got the Razer Focus Plus sensor, which is not their typical 5G. Honestly, they feel... Do you feel any difference? They, I feel <laughs> no difference. Yeah. Although people are saying the Razer Viper is faster. Oh, um, yeah. I, can you really I notice a 25% you know better you know I seems like it speed? should be significant but right. it's just 
they didn't feel like it yeah. when I was using both of them. It's pretty hard to feel the difference. So they're both great sensors. They both have DPI buttons on the bottom, but there is an LED indicator for the Viper Ultimate on the bottom. So that, that's a nice little touch. They both have on and off switches on the bottom as well, as well as places to store your uh, USB receiver. You know, which is a really nice touch. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're traveling or something, you know, you, you don't want to lose this because it's a really small USB receiver. So going to tournaments, you know, exactly you three three million dollars. <laughs> exactly, you know. So as far as the buttons go, the mouse one and two, I I like the G Pro Wireless a little bit better because it is clickier. For me personally, I don't like the Viper because it is very soft and mushy feeling. Yeah. You know? uh, what about you? For me, if I could combine the clicks on these two, That's honestly, true. I feel like yeah. it'd be perfect. Because Jeeper Wireless, my qualm with it is that there's like no travel distance. Yeah. It's good for jitter clicking, um, but not for much else. I accidentally click these all the time, yeah. and I daily drive this thing. Mm -hmm. um, so no amount of practice to help me with that one. Uh, Razor Viper, I didn't have as many issues with accidental presses, although they are a little bit mushy. Yes. So I feel like if I could combine them, it would make the perfect uh, the perfect mouse there. Exactly. Um, but as far as the clicks go, I would go with the Razor Viper on that one. Uh, yeah. It's a little little bit better for me. Really, I like the G Pro Wireless. So as far as the side buttons go, uh, the G Pro Wireless is actually has a little bit higher tension. It's a little bit harder to press. You know, uh, the Viper. Uh, the act, uh, the original Razer Viper was really hard to press, but the uh, they act, seem to have fixed it on the Viper Ultimate. It's actually really easy to press. Uh, they both protrude out a good amount. I would say the G Pro Wireless protrudes out a little bit more. Uh, personally, I like the Viper Ultimate side buttons a little better. So I like the left buttons on the Viper Ultimate, but I wish they protruded out a little bit more. Make yeah. it a little bit easier for me to press them. Exactly. Um, on each side. Um, but honestly, that's just nitpicking. I think both the side buttons are very functional. Um, as far as the scroll wheels go, uh, they both feel very, very good. Very well-defined steps. But the Viper feels a little bit a more resistance. Scroll. Yeah, a little yeah. bit more resistance, a little bit more tension in the Viper scroll wheel. It's very negligible, though. Yeah, we're just nitpicking at this point. Uh, but they both feel really nice. As far as battery life goes for the two, this is a new category we're going to make. Because we know yeah. we have two wireless mice. For the G Pro Wireless, you're looking at 48 hours with the RGB on, 60 hours with it off, uh, which honestly, I recommend just having it off. It's yeah. like pumps in the cupboard anyways. <laughs> uh, Razor Viper Ultimate, you're getting 70 hours of battery life. As far as the charging on both of them, it's honestly, it's fast. Like you don't really have to worry about charging it all the time. Mm -hmm. Charge it in between games and you'll be fine for either one of these. Yes. Although Razer does advertise that you can get five hours of, uh, of play time with it with out of 10 minutes. minutes of charge. That's great. Which is very impressive. Yes. That's good. And of course, if you guys want to spend the extra 20, 30 bucks and get the charging dock, you can, you know, very well do that. Uh, it's not necessary though, you know, because uh, if you don't, if you don't want to get, uh, get that, you can save money and just use the same, basically use the same system as a G Pro Wireless with this, but it's paracorded. Is yours paracorded? Sort of, it's crappy. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's very stiff, it's just bad. You don't wanna have to play with the cord on yeah. the G Pro Wireless. But it's just kind of convenient, you know, when, when, once you're done playing, you just go boom, charging dock, and then you're charging. You it's a cool accessory for your desk, exactly. too. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It looks really cool, you know? All right, as far as build quality goes, um, I mean, there's no build quality issues. There's really no mouse button, you know, wobble or anything. There's no side play, and they're, they, they're both really well made. Uh, but as far as the finish goes, I wish the rubber side grips from the Viper were on the G Pro because I really like that. But as far as the finish goes, I like the G Pro Wireless because I just like how it looks a little bit better. But the Viper Ultimate feels a little bit grippier because of this coarse finish. But it just looks a little cheaper to me, in my opinion. All right, as, as far as RGB goes, it's incredible on both of these mice. You have a really cool RGB light indicator <laughs> right where your palm rests. Yeah, so the RGB, we would recommend just playing with it off. You know, save battery life as well. As far as the software goes... I mean, with Logitech, you're using your G-Hub software. I mean, and then with Razer, you're using your Razer Maybe. Synapse. Yes. So, they're, I mean... You can't really compare software. Yeah. Does the same thing. Changes your DPI. Changes your. It shows your battery life. You know. You can yes. change your color on your RGB if you're not covering it with your palm. But you can change the uh, polling distance on this. Which it's is true. Cool. There's yes. no lift off distance changing on here. Yes. Uh, which was an issue when I installed these mouse feet on here. Mm -hmm. I just sand it down. I literally <laughs> like with a hard pad just go against the hard pad. Sand it down, you know what I'm saying? Pretty much, yeah. So uh, wrapping things up, basically the same price. I guess the G Pro Wireless is a little bit older and is a little bit cheaper because it is on sale. But what do you like better? Which which mouse do you like better? Honestly, that's that's difficult. I like a Viper. 
Uh, better mouse feet. Uh, I personally, uh, I, even though I do like the shape of both mice, I like a little bit lower of a profile because I do fingertip. And the mouse one and two buttons aren't horrible on the Viper. I mean, they are a little bit mushy, like I said, but um, it's not a deal breaker for me. So uh, I, I would say I like the Viper better. So, well, here's the thing for me. When the original Viper came out, I definitely gave it to the G Pro Wireless. It's been my daily driver for a long time. Uh, however, this time, with the improvements that have been made and having it wireless, super nice. I mean, and for the value, $150, what you get with the Razer Viper, a little bit more uh, yes. what you get for the, for the Logitech G Pro Wireless. 100%. In their defense, it did come out like a year ago. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's that. But I would give, it, give, the, uh, give the edge to the Razer Viper Ultimate yes. on this. But let us know what you think about that one in the comments. Mm -hmm. um, and again, affiliate links to all of these will be in the description below. But uh, that's it. Hope you guys enjoy it. Hope we helped you guys out. And we'll see you guys in the next one. See you in the next one.